Racing for the first time tonight. The Pure Stocks, presented by McClurkland Properties of Cambridge, are green and we're racing. 17 of Spencer Riddell gets out to the jump. A little bit of a problem for the pole sitter, the 73 of Chase Mitchell. He's going to bobble on the inside, and that's going to allow a bunch of cars to scramble away, but allows for a big bottleneck in the middle of the field. They're almost three, almost four wide here at that point. Mitchell's going to slot in in about the... 10th 11th position here now so tough start for that 73 machine people will everybody will sort themselves out here the battle for the race lead is on as the 50 of phil givens gets around the 17 of spencer riddell and the 24 of brady cox as well so slide that 24 machine up one spot they're battling for the race lead as cox gave the 50 of givens a big bump down the back straightaway but our race leaders have kind of separated themselves out, clear by about a couple car lengths now. Battle for third is on now as the 28T of Cameron Thompson. He's going to look to the inside on the 17 of Spencer Riddell. Keep an eye on a few different machines here. The points leader coming into the night, co-drivers in that bright pink number 50 car of Phil Givens. That car is sometimes piloted by Wade Thorne as well, so those two drivers splitting time. And as of right now, they are out front in the point standing. Second is the... 17 of Spencer Riddell and the 28T of Cameron Thompson. They're all right there as well. Battle for the race lead, though. The 24 of Brady Cox gets around the 50 of Phil Givens. So new race leader, the 24 of Brady Cox. And he's opened up about a two, two and a half car length lead over the 50 of Givens. Five laps in the books here as Brady Cox and the 24 leads. 50 of Phil Givens in second, third the 28T of Cameron Thompson, fourth the 17 of Spencer Riddell, and in fifth the 22F of Jordan Fidler. Just behind them, the battle for six is heating up as the 40 of Mark Allen. He was right sideways through turns three and four. Problems with the 16 of Alex Stewart. He's got a right front. Almost looks like the right front tire is coming off the bead on that 16 machine. We'll see how much longer he can keep it going here, but it looks to be some problems for that 16 of Alex Stewart as he comes off a of turn four. Maybe I was just seeing things, but it definitely seems like there's problems on that 16 car, so keep an eye on the 16 of Alex Stewart. He currently runs in that seventh spot. Just behind him, the 73 of Chase Mitchell runs in 8th, ninth, the 12 of Chance Rogers, 10th, the 34 of Chris Pendleberry, 11th, the 53 of Jeff Kells, 12th, the 42 of Leo LaBarbera, 13th, the 78 of Nicole Givens, 14th, the 22T of Tegan Ellis, and 15th, the 3 of Owen Booker. Still at the front of the field, though, the 24C of Brady Cox continues to lead the way. He's opened up about a five, six car length lead over the 50 of Phil Givens, and Givens has got some company behind him, the 28T of Cameron Thompson, all over that bright pink number 50 car. That battle's starting to heat up just a little bit. Givens holding on to that second spot now, but Thompson really wants to have it as he is all over the back bumper of that machine. Now he's going to die to the inside. Battle for second is on. Thompson couldn't quite get the power down on the bottom, and the 50 of Givens is going to hold on to that spot. The battle just behind them for fourth and fifth starts to heat up. The 22F of Jordan Fiddler to the inside on the 17 of Spencer Riddell. Fiddler's going to make quick work of the 17 of Riddell, slide him back to fifth spot. As we work lap number 12 here of this 25 lap feature event for the Pure Stocks presented by McClurkin Properties of Cambridge. This time around, we're going to see the cross flags in the air. Halfway home, halfway to go here for the 24 of Brady Cox. He continues to put some good lap times down here. He's going to work around the lap car of the three of Owen Brooks. The battle for second, though, is really still on as Cameron Thompson is still all over the bright pink number 50 of Phil Givens. Thompson now with a little bit of a run to the inside. See if they make that bottom work here as they come off of turn two. They're still side by side down the back straightaway. The 78 of Nicole Givens 
on the inside, going to stay out of harm's way as that machine goes one lap down. But Thompson's going to complete the pass in turns three and four. Move that 28T up one more spot. Now he's going to try to set his sights on our race leader, the 24 of Brady Cox. Leaders work around the 22T of Tegan Ellis. So we work here on lap number 15. So we're closing in here on the final few laps. And now Cox in that 24 car, he's got some company behind him in the 28T of Cameron Thompson. Tom Thompson that time by about two, two and a half tenths quicker. So he is there on the back bumper of the 24. And now he's going to try to get around him. Thompson's going to take a peek to the inside, this time down the front straightaway. They're going to battle into turn one and two, side by side. Thompson on the bottom, Cox up on the top. Still side by side as they flash down the back straightaway, driving into turns three and four. Thompson with a big move to the bottom. He's going to clear the 24 of Cox. Now Cox is going to try the slide job, but no avail. New race leader, the 28T of Cameron Thompson. Now Cox is going to try to see if he can work his way back around that 28T. And now the 50 of Phil Givens is going to get in the mix as well. They're going to be nose to tail here as they dive down into turns three and four. Cox really leaning on that right front here as they work off of turn four. This time around, lap number 19 goes up onto the board. Thompson out front. He hasn't pulled away, though. He's only got about a car length, car length and a half over that 24 of Brady Cox. And then just behind them, the 50 of Phil Givens. As this time around, they're going to work lap number 19, now coming to 20. So five more trips around for our race leader, the 28T of Cameron Thompson. He's got about a still about two car length lead over the 24 of Brady Cox, and then a car length back to the 50 of Phil Givens. They're going to work around the 53 of Jeff Kells. Everyone else kind of single file here. We'll give you a quick field run down the 28, 28T of Cameron Thompson out front. 24 of Brady Cox in second. 50 of Phil Gibbons in third. Fourth, the 22F of Jordan Fiddler. Fifth, the 17 of Spencer Riddell. Sixth, the 16 of Alex Stewart. Seventh, the 40 of Mark Allen. Eighth, the 73 of Chase Mitchell. Ninth, the 34 of Chris Pendleberry. Tenth, the 42 of Leo LaBarbera. Eleventh, the 12 of Chance Rogers. Twelfth, the 53 of Jeff Kells. Thirteenth, the 78 of Nicole Gibbons. Fourteenth, the 3 of Owen Brooker. And fifteenth, the 22T of Tegan Ellis. This time by, they're going to see the two to go signs in the air. Two more trips around for our race leader, the 28T of Cameron Thompson. He's opened up about a half straightaway lead over the 24 of Brady Cox, who's in a solid battle for second as Phil Givens is all over the back bumper of Cox down the back straightaway. This time around, white flag in the air. One more trip around for our race leader, the 28T of Cameron Thompson. He's got about a half straightaway lead as he flies down the back straightaway for the final time. Down into turns three and four. Off of turn four this time around. Checkered flag in the air. Feature win goes to the 28T of Cameron Thompson. Coming home in second spot. We did 24 of Brady Cox in third to 50 of Phil Givens. Fourth, the 22F of Jordan Fiddler, rounding out the top five, the 17 of Spencer Riddell.